and road crews will be working all around the clock. They want to keep you safe tonight and into tomorrow morning. Yeah, we have Dave Parker with the Arkansas Department of Transportation joining us tonight. So, Dave, the governor made an emergency declaration and called in the National Guard. How does that impact your crews? And can you tell us about, you know, any details about how they provided assistance? Uh, I mean, any any help is appreciated at this point. We certainly uh, thank the governor for setting that into motion, and, and any help is appreciated. You know, National Guard can help with uh, any rescue efforts, of course. Uh, people get stuck on the the interstate or, or utilities or out power line. They need uh, help getting out and, and to a safer place. That's where they – one of the many ways they can help out. Uh, but I was just checking the, the latest national weather forecast just t uh, 10 minutes ago, and it's uh, – it's not really encouraging for tomorrow. You know, we were hoping we would get, uh, you know, we knew we were going to get precipitation, but it sounds like the, the amount of uh, freezing rain coming in late tomorrow afternoon through late Wednesday night is going to be uh, even more. We'll get a little break in the morning, but, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if we're, we're heading into the third wave or this will be the fourth wave, but uh, the waves continue. All right, thanks for that, Dave. And we know you guys have been working around the clock. So, you know, kind of what's the status of your crews, their supply, and then what are you looking at into tomorrow morning? Well, we are happy that we have, you know, one one uh, path, at least one way open on the interstates. As, as Robert was saying, we don't have any major problems right now, but uh, there is a lot of ice out there. So we're, we're happy with that. We think in the northwest counties, uh, Benton County, we may actually be uh, getting into some of the secondary roads overnight and into the morning. Uh, you know, we'll get a little bit of break and we'll get we'll get uh, a little bit of uh, work done in the morning when we have no precipitation. But when that second batch comes in, it knocks us back two or three steps. So um, it's a tough battle. You know, we're, we're getting um, worn down as anyone would, but resources are holding tight. We just got to be smart with things. And Dave, we know nearly all of Arkansas is seeing some kind of winter weather. Is there any particular area of interstate that's given you guys the most problems and why? Uh, you know, I mean, it stretches. I mean, actually, the northwest counties, we've had our problems, but uh, not too bad, really. It's been eastern Arkansas earlier today, you know, and I think it's just the amount of truck traffic on Interstate 40 in eastern Arkansas and anywhere uh, around the Little Rock area. You know, we... we uh, it's it's big. It's very important to the industry, to the commerce, to the economy. Uh, but there's a lot of trucks out there. And when you get those cars slipping and sliding around and they get in the way, uh, you know, it causes a uh, backup. So uh, unless you're out working, unless you're essential, you need to be off the roadways. All right. Thank you very much. Dave Parker with the Arkansas Department of Transportation. Thank you so much for joining us, Dave. You know, Busy, busy couple days for those guys. Yeah, absolutely. We are grateful for everyone who's been clearing the roads for us, and we are going to stay on top of those efforts over the next couple of days.